Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. It's Florida. It's hot. Today, let's take a look at what happens when we get a call. We get a call that says French drains backing up, you know, the yards flooding, things like that. We have to come out and assess the problem, find out what's going on. Can we troubleshoot the problem? Can we clean the line or does it need a new line? Let's find out. So when we get a call, you know, they, it's really great. All they say is the French drain's backed up. They don't really know if it's a French drain or if it's a downspout drain. All they know is that it's flooding their yard. So you can see we found the little grate right here. Let's expose that. That looks to be a six by six catch basin. So we want to get all that, you know, overgrown stuff off the top, and then we're going to pop the lid off. Take a look down in the line. Real simple. And we can see right away what's going on in here. You can see it doesn't look like there's any real problems here. A little bit of sand and debris, normal, sits down in the bottom of the basin. But what we need to do is get out the drain cleaning machine and send this cable down the line so we can find out where it goes. And I can see the line. You can see it here in the photo. You can see the line where it goes, but we need to send the cable down there to find it. So to clean and troubleshoot your system, you're going to need to have the, you know, a drain cleaning machine. We use a Spartan 1065. I've showed you this many times of how this machine works. What we're going to do is we're going to add water, bring the garden hose over here, fill this up, start to let that water run. At the same time, we're going to run this cable down the line and find out where the line goes as well as if there's any problem in the line. So we need a lot of things. We need a garden hose. We're going to go ahead and let that water run. It's on right now. We just want to stick it down the line just a little ways. That's far enough. And let that run. We can send the cable down the line at the same time. It's not going to hurt this at all. So next we're going to go ahead and get our gloves on. We always like to wear gloves because this is a steel, stainless steel spring wound cable and it could grab a hold of your skin. Um, leather palm gloves work the absolute best if you're going to do this yourself. You can rent this machine from Home Depot and it's about a hundred bucks for the day. So it's well worth it as if, you, if you had to replace this line, which we'll find out. But if you have to replace the line, it could be two or three thousand. So a hundred dollars for a cleaning, well worth it. So we pulled out some cable and we're just going to get it started down into the pipe itself. It takes a little bit of work to get it started, but once you get it down the line, you can see you can push it easily down through there. So remember, we've got water running. Take a look. We want to let that water run. This appears to be a French drain, so there's going to be gravel perforated pipe down through here, and it's going to lose water as we send it down through there. Go ahead. It's going to lose water, but eventually it'll fill up, and we'll, we should see a flow coming out wherever it comes out. We're going to find out. So now we're going to kick on the machine. Remember how this machine works. The reel keeps spinning and spinning as you send the cable down the line. If it hits a stoppage, the end of the cable stops, but the machine keeps spinning. It builds up tension enough that it will spin and cut any roots or debris. Will it hurt? Uh, if the pipe? Of course not. It's just, it's just pipe. It's just running through there, whether it's PVC or corrugated. If it's collapsed or broken, hey, it's collapsed or broken. It's that simple. So pull some cable up and then push it down in the line. Always kind of keep an eye about how many feet you've got out. We've probably got about 10 feet out. So we can walk down and find out where that cable is. I'll do that while he's running this line. Yep, I can hear it. Can you hear that? The cable's going right through here. No problem. We're just sending the cable down the line. Remember, we had a call that said, hey, 
the French drain's not working. What that tells us is that we gotta find out what's going on. Looks like there might be a Y right here. So it's picking something else up. I see another line that runs right up through here. So I'll bet you there's another drain coming from this section as well. So this line's taking all the water we can give it. We're gonna keep sending the cable down there. Remember, I could hear it out here. Let's just see if we can see any water flow coming out here at the front into the swale. Oh yeah. Here's the pipe. You can see it's kind of overgrown. So we found the end of the line. I'm just pulling out a little bit of debris here. And you can hear it down that line. Oh yeah, that pipe's super clean. But we'll send that cable all the way out here, and make sure we get a good flow. The next, we're gonna go ahead and show you how you clean this with a jetter. And the jetter is really interesting because a lot of people say, hey, don't use the jetter in a French drain. But we're gonna show you that they're wrong. The jetter does such a good job, it actually cleans the gravel as well. So you can see where Chance is. He's about 50, 60 feet from here. Cable's coming all the way out. So we're gonna let that cable run for a second. The operator's coming out to see it. He's gonna take a look and make sure he knows where that cable is. And you can see it came all the way out. Now he can pull that cable back very slowly and then we'll come out here and we'll send the cable down the line again. mud on that cable, a lot of debris. Let's find out what's going on with this French drain. We'll dig it up, see if it was wrapped or if it's just got gravel around it. Let's take a look and find out. So we're pulling the cable back. You see how easy it grabs a hold of grass and roots. Really easy. It binds up everything on it. Just let that cable spin in your hand and then go ahead and turn your machine off. Perfect. Until the machine stops turning, hold that cable. And you can see it picked up some grass roots just here on the ground. It, that's how quickly this thing, and if there were roots in that line, that would pick those out of there as well. So we want to spin those off. Then we want to examine the cable to see what's going on. What we're looking for to see is if it's shiny. And this is not shiny at all. There are some shiny spots. That's normal. Shiny means friction. So if there was a real problem down in this line, this would be real shiny down through here. There was no problem at all. That cable went all the way out to the swale out front without any problem. You can also see that we're running that water and it's taking all the water directly. It takes a long time for a system to fill up before, if it's a French drain, okay? Because water is actually leaking out through here. This is not a rainstorm. When it rains, water is so much groundwater that the water rises up and enters the system and you'll see water flow instantly. But with a garden hose, it takes hours before you see water to begin to flow because it's leaking down through the ground. It's leaching out like a drain field. So we're gonna expose this line just to see what's going on here. Basically, not a lot of sod here, but we're gonna cut, cut the sod. Good couple feet on both sides. And, and dig this up. Let's see, what, let's see what they did here. Let's see what is going on underground. Why, why was this backing up? We sent the cable all the way through there, had no problem. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's totally wrapped. So we wanna keep on digging around it on both sides. Open the same, do the same thing on the other side so it looks just like that. Only takes a few minutes. And I can see the water coming out. You see it down there? 
it's actually filtering out through that gravel through the fabric and now we're seeing some water coming into the ground now so once he pulls that off let's pull off this little bit of sod that's on the top with our hands just clean it all off and let's find it and open this system up just find the you know where it's wrapped and open it up there we go see they actually had a, a pen in it see the pen so let's open that all up now use your hand and just scrape this gravel let's find the pipe there's the pipe right there good this is perforated pipe which means it's, it's got holes all the way around it I'm sorry a slotted pipe it's got holes all the way around it and again we do see water that came out through the bottom of the fabric but very little um, like I said fabric does not really let water penetrate as well as you think this little bit of grass root system that's very normal that will not stop or hurt anything but what we want to do now is get the jetter out and we want to send the jetter from over here at this catch basin down the line and we want to see if that jetter cleans the debris that's around the gravel on the outside out here at the end of the line we finally have a, a little bit of water that's coming out not a lot remember that it's actually losing water down into the ground um, this is you know a typical call that we get someone calls and says hey we've got a French drain backing up they don't really know if it's a downspout drain or a French drain or a yard drain everyone calls everything a French drain but we found out that this does have a system it's got gravel perforated pipe surrounded by fabric and we do see water came out to here we send our cable all the way through this line's in good working order so why is it backing up let's find out so the mini jetter it's really cool you can see it's got a little nozzle on the top and then behind it you see those little jets they're all around the back of the nozzle as we send this down the line the front one it cuts debris and the back ones they pull the debris back to where we're starting where we start work it cleans out the line very thoroughly we start by putting the nozzle down that line a little ways because as soon as you kick this on it's going to start to move see that water we know the jet's right there keep it running but now we're going to go into the line this is going to feed itself because those jets are pushing it just like a jet engine what we want to do is see if we see any water come out through these holes. So just let it run. Yeah. See that water coming out? Hold that. Hold that. Don't pull it. Just hold it. Oh yeah, nice and clean. I can see that right away. That actually cleaned the debris along the side see there's no sand here that jet cleaned all this debris did a really nice job coming back through remember to keep your pressure running as you pull it back because that's what's doing the cleaning it's actually pulling back those back jets they're pulling back all that debris to the point that where you started you just want to keep, keep pulling it back Very clean line, very clean line. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, shut it off, pull it out. Nice, really nice, really nice. Let's take a look inside the catch basin real quick. Just a little debris, not bad at all. That thing really did a nice job of cleaning. We went all the way to the end. Now we're gonna go to the end and do it from there back to this catch basin. So the really interesting note of, of what I wanted to show you was if you look and see that cable, that, that uh, hose as it came through here, it cleaned the, the debris on the outside in the gravel. It actually cleaned that debris. And so if you're gonna try to clean a French drain, if sometimes you've gotta use a drain cleaning machine, there's no doubt about it. But if you can get a jetter down through there, it's going to clean not only the pipe, but your gravel as well.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Are you ready to do this yourself? Subscribe today and continue to learn how to install, clean, and maintain your rainwater drainage system.